What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and for today's app sheet tutorial, we will be covering on how to actually uh, delete a data once you deleted another data from another table. So basically the context of this question comes from Rana Muhammad Afzal and the question is basically saying if I delete or edit a line from one table in app sheet then the line with the same unique ID on the other table will be delete or added automatically. No reference between tables, but unique ID is the same in both tables. So I'll be covering the portion on where once we delete, let's say the data from one table, it will then also perform the same in another table. So basically that is what this tutorial is all about and with that being said without further ado let's check it out okay guys so to start the tutorial first of all there's two tables that i'll be using for our tutorial today which is the first one would be the employee details and this acts as the master data for all of the employees to be listed here in this table where we have the unique ID, the name, the department and the position and the next table would be the employee access where I have the unique ID as well which is referring back to the unique ID I have in employee details so all, uh, each of these um, unique IDs will have, or employees will have their respective uh, system access. Uh, here you can see the access given uh, uniquely to each of the employees and the last login. So this is assuming the tables that we'll be using in AppSheet. So now in AppSheet itself, we will be bringing two of these tables in the app and for both employee access and employee details, the UID or unique ID will be the key. So for your employee access, if you plan to expand this further, the unique ID will be a reference to the employee details. Now, the next step that I would like to uh, highlight is the actions. Basically, the action that would commit uh, upon deleting the master data. Let's play a scenario where if an employee retires and the system admin will sort of delete the employee details from the master data and we want it to actually delete the access given to the respective employee okay to to do that is we'll be needing to add an action and this action is particularly will be placed in employee details the master data where the action is to execute an action on a set of rows so for a record of this table where we'll be using in the master data, which is the employee details, the reference table will be the employee access and the reference rows would be this uh, expression as shown on screen, where we'll be, we will be selecting the same unique ID in employee access where this unique ID is the one that we're referring to. And once that is found or satisfied, the reference action will then be delete. This tutorial is referring to deleting, hence I am using delete. But you can actually expand this um, practice to other use cases which I will be showing in the next future tutorials that will be deemed useful for you. All right, then next, once we have this ready, the next thing that we want to do is to create a bot 
that will execute for us once we delete the master data. Therefore, the bot that I'm creating will be using the table uh, employee details as the reference or the source. And the data change type, I am using deletes. And for condition, uh, for best results, I would say, is to ensure that the unique ID is not blank so that we don't uh, sort of uh, delete it the wrong data. The next is to delete the access from the database, which will be using the action that we have created earlier. Here you can actually do another round of check where the reference table is using or is referencing to employee access and the reference rows is the expression that I've shared earlier. So now we can head on to try the app itself. So we have four employees, one, two, three, and four, where they are all given their respective access. Now let's say for example, uh, Jason Bourne, one of the employees has been terminated or retired and the admin decided to sort of remove uh, after the archiving has been done. So let's say let we delete this employee number two, which, which is E002. And when we delete this, we should be expecting 02, which just did, to be removed as well from the employee access. And that is how we can actually do uh, the action where we can sort of delete uh, data from another table based on an access, uh, based on an action that we have done in another table. So in this case, this should satisfy the requirement that our friend needs. And I hope this helps for you guys to actually explore further on this particular feature in AppSheet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and comment if you find this tutorial useful. And don't forget to add more questions or requests or maybe perhaps some concerns or any troubles that you're facing in AppSheet. And I'll be more than delighted to assist you with that. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so that you will find more contents like this in the future. And I understand there's a lot of comments and emails that I receive and I'm going, I'll be going through one, one by one. And please bear with me. I, I appreciate all the support and the warm welcome that I've been give, uh, given so far. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.